Diablo 4 crossing over to Call of Duty. What the f Seriously? <laughs> Before we even get into this, guys, I am Latimer. Uh, if you like my videos, please like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification button. That way you're never going to miss a video. All right, so there was some rumors this week that Diablo 4 is crossing over to Call of Duty and wasn't 100% sure how this was going to look like. It was most likely going to look like operator packs like they usually do or something like that. Um, they usually have some sort of special Halloween event as well. So before I made a video on this, I wanted to make sure this was actually going to happen because I will tell you right now, this sounds like pure desperation from Blizzard right now to try and draw up attention for Diablo 4 because they have basically taken it as a plane and drove it straight into the side of a mountain um the game is in so much trouble right now that four hours of live stream is coming up just to explain how they're going to try and do something in season two to bring people back because they had pissed off their entire player base well maybe not the entire there's still the fanboys out there that are thrilled to hell about it because they haven't really gotten to the end game yet they don't know anything about the game um they haven't pushed very far into it they play a couple hours a day maybe if they're lucky um you know a lot of the, the, the dad guys that type of person that's who the game was really kind of made for because they weren't expecting players who you know no life to shit out of diablo for years would no life again the shit out of Diablo 4. What do you know? They did. So, it has been confirmed. Uh, here it is on Twitter. That the Burning Hells arrive in Call of Duty bundles. Uh, so, there's Diablo bundles. Um, making the appearance during the haunt. Oops. During the haunting. Complete with the Queen of uh, Lilith. And Arc... Angel and Arius as operators. So you've got Lilith and Anarius as operators. Here's an idea. Just a just a just a thought that I'm gonna throw out there for Blizzard, Activision, Diablo 4 developers. Why don't you fix the f before you start adding more graphics to the game? Fix the game. Stop trying to get more money out of players. Stop being greedy little bastards and fix the game that people have already paid for. That's, that, that would be a great start, in my opinion. That would be what would really make people happy. And then, you know what? People like myself, once you did that and actually came good on what you promised, maybe then players like myself would buy stuff like this. But all you're doing is just showing where your true, true colors lie. Blizzard, straight up, you used to be a good company. You used to be the best in the business. You used to be the shining example for most game companies. Nowadays, you're garbage. Period. I'm sorry to say it like that, but you are. You stopped caring about your customers and you stopped caring about your games a long time ago. And it has become more than evident and there's a lot of people that feel the same way you can just feel that there isn't the love that the, went into these games that used to be in there and are currently going into these games right now your devs don't even play these games half of them <laughs> you, you, you threw your devs to the wolves by putting them on video and showing they don't even know what the hell they're doing in the game I'm sorry but you know what if I make a game I sure as hell know how to play that game. <laughs> I'd be making that shit look as badass as possible. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, it has been confirmed. Sorry, a little bit of a rant there, guys. <laughs> it is morning. Still working on my first cup of coffee. Um, but, yeah. So, a little bit of a rant there. And, yeah. This is true. It is actually happened. And couldn't be more thrilled about it, I guess. So... I'm going to leave these links for you. Um, so we do have another announcement, though, guys. We got an, an announcement of an announcement. <laughs> so, again, we have our Diablo 4 dev live streams coming up. Uh, we're all waiting on this, this shit show because there's quite a few things that are going to happen here. Um, first off, there is going to be a half an hour introduction probably to Diablo Immortal about some new features, which... 
again, it's just more insulting to the Diablo 4 people again, um, which is ridiculous that they even did that before. Uh, anyhow, so it's going to be two two-hour live streams from what I'm understanding, and we don't have an exact date yet, but they did announce that they will be announcing the date. <laughs> like, what the shit? <laughs> really? You announced that you're going to announce the date. We will be announcing the date for the Diablo 4 developer li update live stream next week. We're targeting the first week of October to go over details. Who the hell announces a date to announce a date? Like, seriously? This is... Yeah, e even comments, man. An announcement of an announcement of an announcement? <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, um, yeah. So the the game is still in shit shape, shit show state, and basically they they didn't really need to pull a rabbit out of their hats for this one because they really screwed the pooch when it came to fucking season one. Dude, season one was such a joke and it was pathetic. It really was. It was insulting. I I leveled one character to a hundred. I. I Wanted to do a necromancer, but I have no drive to anymore. I have no drive to even touch the game. It's really hard to log in. Um, and most people I know feel the same way. Hell, even my friends list, it, 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 there's be, like almost nobody on there. I, I think there's one person on there this morning. Like, come on. Um, so, but anyhow, with the live stream though, so I'm going to leave these links down below for you guys. So I'm going to leave you guys the link for um, the original... Um, rumor from Game Rant. Okay, I'm going to leave the link for the Wowhead developer update below. I'll leave the, uh, you can find the Twitter link in there as well. Um, so, uh, and the Wowhead, uh, and Aris and Lilith revealed it's a link as well. I'm going to also leave you one other one. There's a little something else that's coming up. And this is why I say Diablo Mortal will be discussed in those live streams. Mr. Rod, Rod Ferguson, this genius, again, launched today. Dark Rebirth includes a zombie butcher, undead meat, and a new ARAM PvP mode in Alley of Blood, plus a lot more for Diablo Immortal. What do you know? Diablo Immortal, again, getting more good stuff. Getting more love than what Diablo 4 has seen since launch. Probably since development, actually. Um, so expect to see some of this in the live stream as well. Anyhow, guys, it's Vladimir. Uh, that's my little morning rant about Diablo. And you know what? To be honest, I'm always coming across fairly negative. I will want to address this. I do come across fairly negative. Only because I'm so disappointed that they have taken all of the lessons they've learned in over 15 years of experience with Diablo. Right? And flushed them all down the toilet and didn't apply any of them. Well, actually didn't apply most of them. They did apply some. Didn't apply most of them to the brand new top tier AAA title. But they're doing their best to do this shit for a pay to win fucking greedy sucking game. Right? Anyhow. Um, so I want nothing more than to see the game become really, really cool. Like the game should be. The, the, the game is so boring right now and just people are just yeah it, it's hard to do anything in that game it's hard to want to do anything in that game people are having more fun playing Diablo 3 that tells you a lot right there it tells you that the, the game is broken in, in fact actually here let, let's have a quick look here let's see what the Twitch numbers are right now Let's have a look here. Just, just for shits and giggles, guys. I ha I haven't checked myself. Um, so let's go check categories. There you go. Diablo 3's got 1.1k. Diablo 2's got 2k. Diablo 4 has less players, guys, than both Diablo 3 and Diablo <laughs> Oh my god. Right there, 575 viewers, guys. Yeah. 
that's the way it is. That's how it's going to happen. That's what people are seeing. Anyhow, guys, it's Latimer. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Until next time, guys, you keep gaming. Bye.